Okay, we'll take you out of around the world and we'll put you into this time lapse of the storm rolling through Burlington. This was earlier this morning, so we can see those dark clouds moving in. And I know it might have caught some of you by surprise. Caught me by surprise, actually, along the QEW, just soaking rain. Speaking of the QEW, beat the traffic, your best source for traffic this weekend. Now, your best source for weather, of course, that's right here at the Weather Network. Let's get into these temperatures for Sunday afternoon. If you've missed the heat, well, it has returned 30. That's what it's going to feel like tomorrow in the city of Toronto. This also brings the risk of seeing some storms as well this evening, dipping down to 25. But the storm risk, it does linger. So take a look at this. Today, basically drawing a line from London through Orangeville, up and towards Barrie, even in towards Huntsville, into cottage country, maybe where you're at the cottage or where you're camping. That's where we could be seeing some isolated and severe storms. That's going to be more after lunch and then more after dinner. That's where the city of Toronto could be getting into some active weather. Now taking a look at how much rain are we talking about in the darker greens 45 millimeters of rain. So this is the higher amounts more widespread around 15. Now stay with us here. Top five videos are next. And the active weather coverage, it does continue here on the Weather Network. And you know what? The last long weekend, I was standing here and we were talking about the exact same thing. Active weather moving into Ontario and also across the prairies. We do have that story coming up with Kasha. But let's focus in on this. Right now, we are seeing this line of storms right now out of Michigan, bringing some severe thunderstorm watches in towards Ontario. So right now, the watches are in place on the eastern shores of Lake Huron and the eastern shores of Georgian Bay as well. So if you are camping in these areas, you have family, you have a cottage in these areas. Right now, we are warning you for some very gusty winds, the potential for some thunderstorms as well. And as these storms do make their way out of Michigan, some of them right now are tornado warned. So not to scare you, but just to prepare you for the potential of the active weather that we may be seeing in these areas. Now, this is what we've created here at the Weather Network. Isolated and severe storms possible right through this area, and that's exactly what's in the warning. And we do have Mark Robinson in the field, and he He's keeping an eye on this area right now in towards tomorrow as well. Unfortunately, that risk still is there. So right now, Kasha, we can see this big swath of rain moving throughout northern Ontario. Earlier rainfall warnings were in place, but Ontario, not the only place seeing the active weather. No, absolutely not. Rachel, we do have some severe thunderstorm watches in place. Uh well, you've come to the right place, and I know the weather on the long weekend, it is so important. So unfortunately, it's too bad that right now we are forecasting some possible severe weather. As we take a look at our radar, I really want you to notice this, this line of storms right now that's making its way out of Michigan. I do want to let you know that some of these cells are tornado warned right now. Now, they do have quite a way still over in towards Ontario, but we are taking a look at the severe thunderstorm watch in place right now for the eastern shores of Lake Huron as well as the eastern shores of Georgian Bay as well. So a very popular spot to be camping this weekend, to be at the cottage. So you will have to keep an eye on the skies. This cell, this line of cells rather is expected to make its way right in towards this region. Now as we take a look at what we've put together here at the Weather Network, we did have this area in the isolated and severe category. So taking a look, London, up in towards Orangeville, Barrie, throughout the Muskokas. This is where we are seeing again the potential of that active weather. Mark Robinson's on the ground and he's keeping an eye on these storms for us as well. Now talking about Toronto, let's say you're out at the CNE, it doesn't look like Toronto will see the active weather until more of the darker hours, let's say more well after dinner. Again, this big swath of rain moving throughout northern Ontario. Rainfall warnings are in place. So Kasha, another unsettled long weekend in Ontario and I know now you've got the story throughout the prairies. I know it's so sad for those especially counting on great weather for the long weekend. Yeah we're all right, here we go again. Another long weekend and another edition of active weather coverage here at the Weather Network. I want to draw your attention to the story that's happening right now throughout Ontario. Noticing this on our radar throughout Markdale and Durham, some strong cells popping up right now, heavy downpours, gusty winds throughout here. But what I really want you to notice is this line of storms that is forming out of Michigan will make its way in towards Ontario. And right now, some of these cells are tornado warned. So we could be seeing very gusty winds, heavy downpours as well as it makes its way on the eastern shores of Lake Huron and Georgian Bay. Now right now these areas are in a severe thunderstorm watch and as we are talking with our meteorologists one of the biggest concerns is the momentum right now. 
Well, you've come to the right spot to talk about the active weather happening on this long weekend. Rachel shoots in here with you right now. Kasia Baderka also standing by, as well as Margot Morin, who's live in Regina. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's focus in on the Ontario story. So if we can see here out towards Michigan, a line of storms making their way in towards Ontario. And this is what we are really watching in terms of the active weather potential for today. Also, I want to point out this cell here. This is passing around Durham and Markdale. So right now you could be into some of that active weather, the very heavy downpours and also the strong winds as well. Strong and damaging winds, possible gusts up to 100 kilometers an hour. That's really going to be the main threat along with these storms. So the the line out of Michigan making its way in towards Ontario, I'm going to say the timing for that is going to be more around 8 to 9 o'clock. So right now that's why we have the severe thunderstorm watch in place as they approach. This could turn into a warning. So very active right now throughout Ontario. Toronto for the CNE, for the air show, things seem to be okay, just some cloudy skies. But the story also lingers on in throughout Saskatchewan. A cold front headed your way, Margo. Well, I have to say thanks so much for joining us right now here at the Weather Network. And you've come to the right place because active weather right across the country. Big story right now in towards Ontario. We are taking a look at a large swath of rain, East Superior. But I also want to draw your attention to this. We are seeing a line of storms right now heading out of Michigan. And this is causing some severe thunderstorm watches right now in towards Ontario. Eastern shores of Lake Huron and the Georgian Bay as well. I also want to make you notice this cell right here earlier targeting Markham now moving up towards the Collingwood area and this could be bringing the potential of some damaging winds as well. Now I also want to show you this severe thunderstorm watch so this is exactly the areas that we are targeting with that strong line of cells moving out of the Michigan area. Now and we'll take a look at this as well. Thank you so much, Kelly. Severe thunderstorm watch. This has just been issued right now. A warning right now for Hanover, Dundalk, Owen Sound, Barrie. So that cell that we were earlier showing you throughout moving towards Collingwood, that's what's bringing the potential of seeing some heavy winds, very damaging winds as well, producing strong wind gusts. So right now, a big story throughout southern Ontario, isolated in severe storms, and right now we do have a severe thunderstorm warning happening through here. So I will mention again, Barrie, Collingwood, Owen Sound, Hanover, Dundalk, all of you guys right now, you will have to watch out. Let's say you are camping in this area, you have cottages in this area. Again, these are where we are targeting to see some very damaging winds, potential for some heavy downpours as well. That cell we were showing you earlier out on radar. Now in terms of the heavy rains, we do see that continuing throughout northern Ontario. We'll also be bringing you the story of some active weather happening right now throughout the prairies. Kasia Baderka will be joining us live next. And of course, we'll keep you updated on these severe thunderstorm watches. Visit. Well, lots of developing stories here at the Weather Network for this long weekend, Labor Day long weekend. Yes, let's get into the active weather. We earlier were just talking about this cell here that now is a severe thunderstorm warning. So that means happening right now for areas like Markdale heading up in towards Collingwood, Blue Mountain, Barrie. This is where we could be seeing those extreme damaging winds, heavy downpours. Also, ping pong sized hail is possible with that cell as well. Now I also want to draw your attention to this line of storms happening right now. This is out of Michigan. It will make its way across Lake Huron and this has sent some severe thunderstorm watches in place. Watch means it could happen. Warning means it's imminent or it's happening now. So right now in towards Barrie, Collingwood and Blue Mountain, yes, happening now. But for these areas, we are watching with that line of storms making its way over Lake Huron. So these areas highlighted in the yellow severe thunderstorm watch. This is going to be more towards the eight, nine o'clock hours tonight when you could be getting in towards those storms. Now this afternoon, this is exactly where we have targeted that isolated severe weather. And this is where it is happening right now up in towards Barrie and Collingwood. But right throughout Southern in Ontario, the risk of storm still very much present today, Kasha, with that warm and humid air and the cold front making its way through. This is where we could be seeing those storms. And I know you have the same situation in place as well throughout the prairies. Yeah, that's right. We're seeing some heavy rain throughout parts of Saskatchewan, but... 
While the active weather coverage it continues here on the Weather Network and on another long weekend, I know. Right now, let's focus in on Ontario, where I do want to warn you that this cell right here is bringing severe thunderstorm warnings in towards Barrie, Collingwood, Blue Mountain, Owen Sound. So along with this, we could be seeing damaging winds, very heavy downpours, and as well as ping pong sized hail. So that was issued about 20 minutes ago. So we're really keeping an eye on this cell. Another thing that we're really keeping an eye on is this line of storms that right now is making its way out of Michigan, traveling over Lake Huron, and it will be ending up in Ontario. And this has sent some thunderstorm watches in place. Warning means it's happening now. We could show you the cell right in Ontario. A watch means it's headed our way. We're thinking that the conditions are right to be seeing some severe storms happening in these highlighted yellow areas. Now, Ontario, not the only place seeing the risk of active weather today. Margo, I know you're out in Regina where the storms could be happening as a cold front approaches. We'll start off in Manitoba, where they haven't had much luck with the rain this month. Another short-lived storm packed a punch, with some estimates showing over 120 millimeters fell in just south of Winnipeg. Flash flooding left cars stranded. The rain has brought a drop in temperatures right across the prairies. Now, Thursday night saw thunderstorms rip through the prairies. Gusts were so strong that they even managed to derail a train in southern Saskatchewan. Over 30 cars were knocked off the tracks, but no dangerous goods were on board. A plow wind is being blamed. It moves along a narrow, straight path and is usually associated with a thunderstorm. A wildfire sparked by a car along a highway in Northern California is now 60% contained. The fire started Thursday afternoon and engulfed over 30 hectares of land, but firefighters were able to stop its progression quickly. Both lanes of Highway 152 had to be closed for several hours in each direction. All ash alerts have been lifted for Iceland's Badarbunga volcano. A lava eruption at the site stopped on Friday after about four hours of spewing lava. Flight restrictions remain directly over the volcano, but all airports are open and flight travel should not be affected. Activity appears to be subsiding at Papua New Guinea's Mount Taverver volcano after it sprung to life on Friday. Eruptions thrust plumes of ash into the air, prompting local evacuations and international flights to modify their routes. The volcano destroyed the town of Rabul when it erupted simultaneously with nearby Mount Vulcan in 1994. Well, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you did to spend some time with the Weather Network this long weekend because there is a lot to get through. We're going to focus in on Ontario right now and I want to draw your attention to this cell right here. Severe thunderstorm warning. Warning means happening now. This is for places like Barrie, Blue Mountain, Collingwood, Owen Sound. So we are seeing some potential serious situations happening through here. So taking a look at some damaging wind gusts, heavy downpours, possible ping pong sized hail. And then secondary, I want you to look at this as well. This is a line of storms forming out of Michigan severe thunderstorm watch. Now I also want to mention the severe thunderstorm watch has now been extended in towards Halliburton, Algonquin. So we are seeing again the potential for some damaging winds, some strong hail as well, heavy downpours associated with this. Watch means happening now. So for those of you in Barrie and Collingwood happening now and then we are seeing this watch now just being monitoring that line of storms coming out of Michigan. Now Mark Robinson of course he wants to chase these storms, so we'll join him in the field right now.